Hey guys, uh, finally back. Uh, this one is going to be taking a look at uh, Ergo on the now released 4070. Um, as per usual, I'm going to be mining on the Hero Miner's pool and mining to. Well, not here. Oh, never mind. Gonna be mining to Trade Ogre. Um, as per usual, I show the memory. All 40 series should be a uh, micron, um, which it is obviously. And then idle, the board power draw is looks like 36 to almost what 38 watts, 37 watts, give or take. Um, not including the GPU, uh, since this is my gaming rig, uh, consumes uh, about a hundred. 25 to 130 watts so right now at the wall i'm getting uh about 152 to 154 uh watts uh currently right now it is 72 in my house and outside obviously 81 um let's get started though so the stock settings should be if i remember correctly they should be a hundred and fifteen watts or i mean 115 mega hash my god a little bit tired um 115 mega hash at 122 watts on the software and then at the wall i'm getting 200 and 37 to 240 watts at the wall um the efficiency should be pretty close to one to one when i'm not recording and i have both my monitors off and the only programs i have up are the miner and msi afterburner um so just like almost every 40 series it's pretty much almost a one to one on ergo for the most part but this was pretty interesting for the 4070 for ergo at least for uh, finding the overclock I'll say that let this come on up here we go so we are getting 44 almost 45 C for the regular temperature 64 for the memory junction temperature and then a hot spot of 51 C starting to warm up a little bit um, but then again ergo doesn't really run all too hot obviously now for the overclock exit out of this real quick because we are going to have to go into the batch file and edit it so this was very interesting. We're gonna lock the uh, memory clock at uh, 820 or lock it at 5001. So we're really not going to be overclocking the memory. The reason why is because at least this particular card that I have actually clocked as high as 1900 on the memory and I still was not getting as good of efficiency with the memory clocked all the way up. And the core should be, let's see here, we're going to, where is it? Lock it at 920 millivolts at 2325 on the megahertz. And then execute that and then pull it back by 502 which should knock us down to 1815 for the megahertz now this overclock is more efficient than if you were to overclock the memory like i said it went as high as 1900 and i believe the efficiency i got was uh 1.4 it didn't even break 1.5 for the efficiency rating. I think it was like 133 
mega hash at like 90 something watts, give or take. And uh, it was uh, pretty sad. So I decided to uh, cut the memory by locking the memory at 820. Um, obviously, if you do 810, it's going to pretty much brick your mega hash. But uh, 820, which locks it at 5001 megahertz, pulls the power back to, if I remember correctly, it fluctuates between 72 watts and 75 watts. And then you basically keep the 115 mega hash. So that equates to 1.53, 1.56. Basically, pretty close to the 4090. Um, testimonial will be down in the description, as always. But on the software, like I said, 75, well, 72 to 75 watts, and then 115 mega hash. And then at the wall right now, I am getting, looks like 190 watts to 192 watts on this. Um, and obviously take a look at the temperatures, which this always usually runs smooth or in cool for Ergo, obviously. So we're getting 38 to about 39 C for the regular temperature, 56 C on the memory junction temperature and 43 for the hotspot, so relatively cool, um, again, for the true hash rate, and this is with just the program and, or the two programs being MSI Afterburner and the miner up and both monitors off, uh, pretty much 1.56, 1.55, basically the same as 4090 and the rest of the 40 series for the most part, basically hitting above 1.5, um, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.